It is probably one of the biggest sports weekend in recent memory. Now we're asking for you to join us on social media because there are a list or a full list of the best basketball players, men's and women's team, and also the best football players. You at home voted on that and then UTEP collected all of your votes and this weekend they will all be celebrated and honored as well. So go to our webpage right now and tell us who you think your favorite players from UTEP of any sport of all time are. We're going to run through those tonight on ABC 7 at 9 and then we'll read the responses then and it'll be nice to see what you have. By the way, tickets 10 bucks uh, just to get into uh, all three games. Now we do have Darren Hunt who's live over at UTEP right now. Uh, Darren, not a bad deal if you're looking to do something and make a bang for your dollar. Good afternoon. Bob, we're out here at the Foster Stevens Basketball Complex celebrating UTEP's Centennial Weekend and I have two very special guests here. This is Trey Darzalik, who was an offensive lineman um, from 1999 to 2003 here at UTEP, and Baron Wortham, one of my all-time favorites, former linebacker here with the Miners from 1989 to 1994. Let's start with Trey here. Trey, you were one of the anchors of that 2000 Humanitarian Bowl team with, uh, with Gary Nord as the head coach. Does it seem like it's been 14 years since then it doesn't it's it's um, it's gone by real quick and it's great to get uh, a chance to see everybody again and um, to to be a part of, of this really monumentous event you know, a real honor for us as well you know I, you would have definitely been one of my picks one of the best offensive linemen to ever play here one of my picks for the centennial team here a lot of great players on that team Lee Mays take me back to the H Bowl that year remember that game well about 22 degrees have you warmed up since then uh, it, it was very cold really cold um, and you know we played the great game came down to the wire and um, uh, you know we love to love to get a win for that one but uh, it's been a long time for for the, the you guys actually have the distinction of becoming the closest to winning a bowl game since 1967 here this hasn't happened in my lifetime we're hoping for that this year this team's five and four and and hoping to get them in if they get a win over north texas tomorrow night but uh your buddy brian natkin from the 2000 team now the special teams coach here at utah that's right i saw brian last night and he looks well he's doing a good job with the team and um, Sean as well. Sean's, Sean's trying to bring the team to uh, get us to a bowl game this year. Yeah, Sean Kugler, who coached you on the offensive line, correct? That's right, my freshman year. Still the same demeanor, you think? Um, so how, is, how is he different as a head coach than he was a, as a position coach? I think he's calmed down a little bit. He's, um, uh, it seems like he's got a, got a hold of himself a bit. Um, but um, he still is keeping everybody in line, lots of discipline, lots of all the fundamentals of football to make guys great. All right, Baron, we got to go back a little bit further for you to 89 to 94, but what a great linebacker you were here and you went on to play. Well, Trey, by the way, with the Philadelphia Eagles at one point, you went on to play for the Houston Oilers, and I actually saw you play in a game against the Dallas Cowboys back in the day. How cool is this to have a Centennial weekend when you get to come back here? And Were you surprised to be named to the Centennial? Uh, yeah, I was kind of surprised about the whole thing. You know, I was, I was excited when I got the call and said, hey, you know, you made the Centennial team. I was like, whoa when am I coming so you know and I'm here now and I'm really excited about the whole deal some of the greatest athletes in UTEP history to be included in that is just a great honor and wow it's just something it's something you can tell your kids and they can tell their kids and it's just a cool thing I had a lot of fun getting to go and cover one of your games as an Oiler in Texas Stadium against the Cowboys. And remember it well. You got on the field on a third down play, and I remember a flag being thrown in that play after you made a play. And I thought, man, I got my story. Barron made the play of the game, and they're going to beat the Cowboys. And unfortunately, it was a flag. And it didn't happen. Um, I was uh, lucky enough to get to interview you after the game. And also Jeff Fisher, who's now an NFL head coach with the, with the Rams, of course. Um, you had a great time in the NFL, I'm sure, playing there. But coming back here to El Paso, what's this been like for you? Uh, it's been great. I mean, seeing the campus, seeing things, the way the change is right now, the campus looks fantastic. The athletic facilities look fantastic. So, I mean, hopefully we can bring in some more recruits, all right, so we can get that bowl win, okay, before you die. That's right. We need to do that before. 1967, I was born. Last time UTEP won a bowl game, and uh, Baron Wortham's promising us a bowl win this year. So, hope that happens. Trey Darslick, Baron Wortham, two truly great minor football players over the years members of the centennial team we'll have more for you coming up at five o'clock bob all right darren thanks so much for that and don't forget go to our facebook page right now and tell us who you think your favorite utep athletes are of all time and we'll read back those responses tonight at 10 we'll be right back